What's up guys? Welcome to another video. So this morning, my usual run, I'm going to hit the bins and then a local thrift or two. There's been a change. So the bins has been opening, it used to be 8 o'clock. And ever since they reopened after the outbreak, they started doing it at 9. I had my routine down, I will leave here like 8.35. It literally takes me like 7-8 minutes to get there. Quarter of the line would form, 9 o'clock we'd all go in. Every hour, if there's a limit of people, you have to leave, and usually they make you leave. Get back online and go in if you want. So yesterday I went to the bins, and I didn't go a couple days this week at the beginning. And when I pulled up, nobody was there outside. I was like, what's going on? And I saw the neon light on, everybody was already in. So starting on Monday, and I didn't go for the beginning of the week, they started opening at 8 o'clock again. So I got six things going out this morning. I'll show you real quick. I'm not going to do a long pack and ship segment, but a few cool items. All right, so the first thing I'm packing up, they were already bagged. There's two pairs. It's a lot of two. One in black, one in gray. L.L. Bean Cresta hiking pants. If you watched my thrifting vlogs about three weeks, maybe a month ago, I found there was, I think, seven pairs or eight pairs. Seven pairs of these. And at the dollar, all clothing. So I got these for a buck each. And they sold for $39.75 plus shipping. And for these, padded flat rate. Next item I'm packing is just a t-shirt. It's a Fruit of the Loom. Made in USA. It's a vintage t-shirt. Plain black. Nothing on it. It's not a Harley shirt. It's not a concert shirt. Sold for $23.75 plus shipping. People will buy the plain ones. So don't overlook the plain ones if they're single stitch because there's no designs or it's not a concert shirt or a sports shirt or a Harley shirt. Plain ones, people buy them. Whatever they do, they design them. They put their own prints on them, whatever be the case. I don't really care. I don't know. But vintage plain ones sell as well. And for this, clear suffocation bag. Then just a 9 by 12 vinyl bag, perfect for shirts and lightweight clothing. And yes, a lot of people will put clothing directly into their vinyl bags. Um, nothing wrong with that. You could do that if you want. Personally, I always put everything inside a bag. To me, it's just a little more professional, a little more protection, and just a nicer presentation. So I'll put this in a bag and then into here. Just my personal choice. These aren't that much, but it's what I do. Next item I'm putting out today is this Nike Combat Pro football girdle. Or you can wear it like under lacrosse shorts as well. It's kind of like spandex under shorts. Has the padded hips, padded thighs. It's like a hard shell. I've got a bunch of these from my source for free. And I think I got like four pairs listed, three pairs. And these sold for like 13 bucks. And I'll put these into a suffocation bag. And they're only... 12 ounces, so they'll go in a vinyl bag as well, first class. So these don't fit into the 12 by 9 bag, so I'm going up to the next size that I have in vinyl bags, which is a 12 by 15. All right, so the last item I'm packing up, I'm sure you saw it sitting behind me, it's this is Cascade lacrosse helmet. Cascade, great brand, sell for good money. There's different levels of helmet. This one sold for like 32 or 33, some sell in the 50s. And this I'm just going to put into this... 12 by 12 by 8 box should fit good. All right, everything's packed up. The helmet, I end up sending a FedEx. I didn't even look at the rate for USPS, but anything in that size, that's 12 by 12 by 8, and it's a little over 3 pounds. I just do FedEx. I drop it right off of Walgreens at the corner, and it's a convenient. And it's always cheaper than USPS. And I'll just throw these in the car, and since my older son is off at college now, I have to pick up my younger son in school most days. So I get him, then we swing by the post office. And he just runs it over to the bin in the back. So, um, let's go to the bins. All right, it's quarter of. It looks like they're making people leave. So I'm going to be second in line for the re-entry. Looking through the bins, look what I see. I got involved in the mix today on the first bin. And look what I got. Waiting in line to cash out. Every hour, everybody has to leave. And then they could come back in. You gotta get back in line. All right, since I have to drive right by it to go to any other stores, I figured I'd stop at the regular Goodwill. 
I barely come here anymore because I'm always at the bins, but we're looking for home runs in here because they're quite expensive. So no clothing. We'll check out the hard goods, shoes, bags, stuff like that. So here's the problem with Goodwill. I found two shoes in the bins that just came out. A pair of Nike and a pair of Adidas Ultra Boost. Nikes sell for about maybe 30 bucks, high 20s, and they're for 15. And the Ultra Boost probably sell in the 50s and they're only eight. Guess which ones I'm taking. Here's a nice pair of New Balance. Really good condition. Look at the price. All right, at Goodwill, I just got those sneakers in one hat. Quick pass through, decent little profit. Let's hit the start stop. We're dropping off stuff at the mailbox. Get him, Nick. <laughs> Went to the post office, saw this dumpster over here with some nice cardboard boxes. And that's how you find boxes that you need. So these are the ones I pulled out of that dumpster. Let me show you the shape of them. They're perfect for certain type of items. So there was two of these in that dumpster. 47 by 14 by three. I mean, it's very long, but even if I sliced it in half and made like two or three boxes out of it, that'd be good for something. Especially like a Guitar Hero guitar. Of course, I would have to shorten the length, but I wouldn't have to Frankenstein to you know, USPS boxes together. So I'll keep them in my garage and they're good to have on hand. All right, back home. Um, I feel like I didn't have a good haul, but once I comp everything and add up the numbers, I'm going to think I did pretty decent. Of course, it's not as good as my last video. You know, the one store I went in after Goodwill today, I walked out of there the other day spending 20 bucks and having things that comped out probably four or 500 bucks. Today, not so much, but I will definitely make profit. So let me go show you everything I picked up and then we'll run some comps. The Hurricanes is dated 1995 on the tag. And it's like a full leather, it's like a polyvinyl, they call it. And it's a heavy winter jacket. All stitching Miami Hurricanes. Very nice. The back has all embroidered Miami Hurricanes with the U. This is a really cool jacket very surprised I found it because typically there's like four or five vintage guys and that's all they do is look for vintage stuff concert tees single stitch tees sporting stuff and this would have been snatched up and usually I wait for the rush once they blow the whistle to be over with and then I go and look when they blew the whistle I looked and there wasn't a lot of people and there was a few bins that nobody was at so I went down the other end and there were like three vintage guys there at that time they're on one end, so I went down the other end, and the second bin I looked in right away before anybody even came over there, boom, this was there. Pulled it right out. I guarantee you 30 seconds later this was gone for sure, because it's a very fast-paced, aggressive situation. They blow that whistle, and everybody flies through those bins, snatching stuff up. So, I don't know what this comping out at. I see similar ones, I'll show them later, for NFL that are like 70 bucks. So I'm figuring this is going to be anywhere from $50 to $100. All right, I grabbed this Denver Nuggets, Carmelo Anthony, Reebok XL Team Apparel. It's just a jersey. I don't even know if he plays for them anymore. But um, this has decent comps. So I grabbed this, and these are very lightweight. Got this crazy looking pair of Kugi shorts. Huge patch, sailboat. Spell out. Many pockets, I like colored stitching, spell out on the band. So they're pretty interesting. They don't sell as good as like those crazy sweaters do, but it was something to take. Found this. These sell good. Not a lot of money, but they sell fast. I've been selling a bunch of the shirts lately that I had. They're Nike Combat Pro. They're called Nike Pro Combat. It's a dry fit fitted. This is the hyper warm long sleeve. And so you'll get this label right here. Nike Pro Combat. And this one is new with tag. And the price is 50 bucks. But this will probably sell like 20, 25 bucks. 
down the Nerf drum for the N-Strike Elites, 35 round. I always grab the magazines when I see them. This will probably sell for like 15 to 20. So I found these. I think I put this on my Instagram. They're sealed new, so it's new old stock. They're fog lights. And there's no date on them, so I'm not sure when they're from. But they gotta be from like the, could be 80s, maybe 90s. I only found one hat. It says Burj Al Arab, Dubai. I don't know, it's from the bin, so real cheap, and maybe I get 12 bucks out of it. And I found a pair of Chacos. Haven't found one of these in a few months. But these are good sandals. Chaco. Very plain, size 13. But these are great sellers, and they'll probably sell for like $30 used. And they're in good shape. I found this True Religion. It's kind of like a long sleeve rugby shirt, stripes on the sleeve. Collar, it's got the horseshoe logo on the chest. True Religion, or Elgin. It's got the spell out across the bottom. And on the back, has the same thing across the bottom. Similar shirt that I found today. Long sleeve with the stripe on the sleeve. Just says Hill Figure 85. And it's like a hooded t-shirt. Found this men's bathing trunks. Nordica. It's got the Nordica strip. And it's got a spell out down the leg. Bathing suits always sell for me. I've sold a bunch this past month. You can usually get like 12 to 15 bucks. More items from the bins today. Just these two boxes of swing line staples. These are vintage. Full boxes. So I grabbed them. Might get like 8 or 10 bucks for the two boxes. Found a Vistla hat. This is a great brand. I've been selling their bathing suits. Looks to be unused, but it's got a little like a water stain on it, but that'll come out. So that's a cool hat. I found a case of playing cards. A bicycle. It's a whole case. All sealed packs. There's a dozen of them in there. So I'll probably sell these in packs of two. Because there's red and blue ones. So I just do like a red and a blue. And I'll have the quantity of six. And do like that. So a single pack selling for like five or six bucks. So yeah, I'll do like two for ten free shipping. And um, she charged me two bucks for this box. This thing go by weight. So a quantity six if I can make. And even if I make five dollars per sale. That's like a thirty dollar profit off that box. I showed these in a video. These Ultra Boost. Good shape. Just need a little white cleaning around the edge. Slip-ons with a tie. The bottoms are in real good condition. They got the Continental. Good treads. So these should do good and they're only 8 bucks. And then I, I said this was from the bins, but this hat is what I got from Goodwill also today. Local thrift store. I only pulled out 4 items. These are all still new. I thought they were Radicas, which would have been really nice, but they're not. But they have some decent comps. First one is just a Rawlings hockey handheld game. As you see, one dollar. The next one, just an electronic hangman. That costs a dollar. Then I got two of these. These are handheld casino with FM radio. Seal new, each one was a dollar. And these have comps of like 18. So, not great, but definitely made some money. Let's all run the comps and I'll add them up and we'll see, you know, potential gross sales are going to be.
right, so DC comps, I think I've got most of the stuff comped there for you. And I'm estimating maybe 320 ballpark gross sales. Not so bad. Um, better than nothing. So at least I got things to list and I'll make some money. And that's what it's all about. Do it on the daily and you're going to grow. So I appreciate you watching. Got those questions, put them down below. I'm always glad to answer. And I'll see you in the next video.